Okay, so here's an analogy for you. If the cannabis sector is Adam Sandler, then SNDL is Rob Schneider. He sometimes cross-eyed. He yells, you can do it, all the time. Um, he can't say hippopotamus every now and then, but he's always there, just like SNDL. So let's talk about that. What's going on, guys, and welcome back to the Stock Advantage. My name is Darren, and today we're going to break down SNDL, which is Sundial Growers. Uh, it's a very popular penny stock right now, and a lot of people are asking the question on um, what will it do next? Will it go higher? Will it 10x? Will it 20x? Um, you know, I don't know about going that far, but I think it does have some potential to move. Uh, and so in today's video, I'm going to break down some of the specifics around that and where I see the price going for this stock in the future. So... Uh, if you enjoy any part of this video, I'd appreciate a like, uh, comment down below what you think of SNDL. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump right into this. Okay, so first off, we've got to touch on the cannabis sector itself a little bit. Uh, this last week, it had a huge run up. Um, and then, you know, if you were following it, by the end of the week, it had a nice little crash too. Uh, SNDL included in that. Um, so what happened? So cannabis stocks are all riding a wave of uh, new political changes. Um, the future of cannabis looks uh, pretty bright in relation to legalization and decriminalization uh, and then just further expansion across the globe. Um, and then you pile that on with uh, Reddit users and the Wall Street bets and retail investors jumping in. Uh, it kind of created this perfect storm of a, a major run up in the cannabis sector. Uh, and then as people took profits, uh, it cooled off really quickly. Um, but I think that there's a lot of potential here moving forward. And that wasn't just a fluke. I think that was just the beginning of what's about to happen in the whole cannabis sector, SNDL included. Okay, so as we get into this, just a reminder, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor, yada, yada, yada. You got it. Okay, so Sundial Growers. So before you trade a stock, you need to understand what it is. Right. One of my things is, you know, you don't want to trade a ticker. You want to trade a stock. So let's look at Sundial Growers just a little bit. Um, so they engage in the production and distribution of flower, pre-rolls and vapes. Operates through the following segments, cannabis, ornamental flowers and corporate um, legal cultivation and distribution of cannabis products under federally regulated licenses issued by Health Canada. Um, and then it goes on. So that's what the company does. Um, they IPO'd a few years ago at around $11 a share, and then they have quickly dropped from that. They dropped almost instantly. Um, you know, they, they've had some issues um, as of last year where all of the core management team resigned. Um, they had half a ton of product that got rejected because of poor quality. Uh, so SD, SNDL has had its share of, of troubles. So are they turning the corner? Uh, they could be, very well be. This stock went from trading just like at 14 cents a share uh, not too long ago to now having a market cap of 3.6 billion. Um, even before this last week of run up, SNDL has been gaining traction. Uh, it popped up to the 50, 60 cent range, hung out there, popped up to the 80 cent, and it just it's kept chugging uh, on and on. Uh, but with this latest run, it did get up to almost five dollars a share, which is pretty outrageous. Uh, before cooling back down, I think to a couple bucks a share right now. So, so one thing you've got to understand about SNDL is they're not really poised at this point to benefit from uh, legalization in the U.S. It's a big part of the cannabis growth right now, but they're not really set up for that. They're just getting the sympathy growth that goes with that. One thing SNDL has got to do is stop changing um, their product segments. Over the last several years, they've actually changed what they do a few times. They need to find something, stick to it, and make it solid. You know, right now, based on their valuation, it's it's kind of crazy because they barely generate $10 million a quarter. Um, so, but that doesn't stop stocks from going up, right? So stocks go up based on correlation, uh, future potential. And so they do have a new um, management team in place now. And I think they're starting to get some direction behind them. Uh, but it's going to take a while to truly live up to that valuation. Uh, but I think the stock, uh, just like in a lot of other sectors, can outrun the, the true valuation for a while. The good thing is, is that with this latest run, they did uh, raise a pretty good bit of capital. I think it was $175 million. Uh, and so they sold some warrants, a share offering. They, they've done quite a few things. So they have raised the money. Um, and they are looking at, at good position going forward. It's just what they do with it. 
as far as a company being successful, they just have to get the ability to sell cannabis, whether it's wholesale or, or branded, at solid profits. At this point, they've started selling, um, but they have yet to cross the end of the super profitable range. So that'll be what we're looking for there. Um, so that's just a little bit on the background of the company. So with all that being said, I still think this stock's going to go up. I still think it's going to go up quite a bit uh, eventually, not, not overnight. It probably won't hit $5 again this week. Uh, unfortunately, but I think it has potential to go up. And the biggest reason being is sympathy. Um, so you've got sympathy price increase that's going to happen in the entire cannabis sector. My belief, and I posted a video on this the other day, is I believe the whole cannabis sector is going to go up two to three X um, this year uh, and going into next year. SNDL, just by association and by people looking at it as, a, as the penny stock version, a cheaper version, um, they are going to jump onto it and they're going to ride it up. So this stock can easily two to three X from its current position at $2, um, easily, uh, in the next few months. Uh, if any positive catalyst comes out, some legal, uh, legalization and those kind of things, or if the business itself starts to show some, some movement and some positivity, uh, I think that this stock will two to three X. So the key takeaway here though, is that it is a penny stock. Penny stocks are inherently more risky. That's just how they are. Um, so if I was going to put some money into the cannabis sector, I would put a majority of it into Tilray or into um, some, of, some of the cannabis ETFs like MJ or MSOS. Uh, MSOS is the U.S. Um, banking on the U.S. side. Uh, but anyways, SNDL is an interesting play, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind putting a small portion into it. But just like any other penny stock, those should be a very, very small portion of your portfolio. Don't put 85% of your portfolio in that because it's, it's super risky and, and very volatile. So just a warning of caution there. Uh, but overall, I think this stock does have some potential. Uh, I think as a business side, they need to work on some more developments and growth uh, and figure out how to become more profitable. Uh, but on the association with cannabis sector, they got it made, right? They've already got the hype out there. Um, the, uh, retail investors love it, uh, and they see that the money that can be made there. And so this one can easily two to three X, um, in the next coming month. So, um, that's, that's my opinion on it. Again, not a financial advisor, but that's just what I see with this stock and specifically, uh, as far as trading, if you do want to open a new trading account over at Weeble, where you can buy SNDL, I've got a link down below, uh, and you open an account, deposit a hundred dollars. You get two free stocks. I get a free stock as a kickback because that's how that works. And I appreciate any support for the channel. Uh, again, if you like the video, like it, make sure you subscribe and, and click that notification bell. Um, and until next time, have a great day and God bless.